Welcome back to Historical Veracity, where we delve into the fascinating intricacies of history and science. Today we're exploring the groundbreaking insights of Robert Epstein, a distinguished researcher at the American Institute for Behavioral Research and Technology in California, and a former editor-in-chief of Psychology Today. Epstein challenges the long-held belief that our brains function like computers, processing information, retrieving knowledge, and storing memories. This idea, deeply rooted in history, has been perpetuated by the advent of computers in the 1940s, leading many to compare the brain's functions to those of a digital processor. Contrary to popular belief, our brains do not store copies of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, nor do they hold images, words, grammar rules, or any form of environmental stimuli in the way we think they do. This revelation may seem unsettling, but it's crucial to understanding our own cognitive processes. The human brain is not empty, it simply doesn't contain most of what people assume it does, including basic elements like memories. To illustrate how our understanding of the brain is influenced by metaphorical thinking, consider the development of a baby. From birth, a baby is equipped with a blurry vision but has an innate ability to focus on faces and rapidly recognize their mothers. Babies prefer human voices over other sounds and can distinguish between basic speech sounds indicating our natural predisposition for social connections. They come with dozens of reflexes crucial for survival and have efficient learning mechanisms that enable them to rapidly adapt to the world around them. A world vastly different from that of our ancient ancestors. However, we don't come into this world with information, data, laws, programs, knowledge, lexicons, representations, algorithms, memories, or any of the computational elements that help digital computers display a degree of intelligence. This fundamental difference between humans and computers challenges the long-held belief that the brain operates like a computer, processing and storing data. The metaphor of the brain as a computer has dominated scientific and public discourse for decades, shaping our understanding of human intelligence and cognitive processes. However, this comparison is fundamentally flawed. The brain's ability to adapt and learn from experiences is vastly different from a computer's data processing capabilities. To further debunk this metaphor, consider the example of drawing a dollar bill from memory. Most people can recall a dollar bill but struggle to draw it with high accuracy without a reference. This exercise highlights the limitations of our memory and challenges the idea that we store detailed representations of our experiences. The push towards understanding the brain through computational metaphors has also led to significant investments in brain research, sometimes based on misguided assumptions. Projects like the Human Brain Project in the European Union aim to simulate the human brain on a computer, promising breakthroughs in understanding and treating neurological disorders. However, these ambitious projects have faced criticism and setbacks, underscoring the complexity of the brain and the limitations of current technology. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the human brain, it's essential to move beyond simplistic metaphors and embrace the complexity and uniqueness of our cognitive processes. Understanding the brain requires acknowledging its differences from computers and appreciating the intricate interactions that underlie human intelligence. Thank you for joining us on Historical Veracity. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insightful content that challenges our understanding of the world. Stay tuned for more insights into the past and present as we unravel the complexities of our world.